Once completed, the next generation identification database being developed by the FBI and other federal agencies will be one of the largest pools of biometric information in the world. State and local police are a big part of this plan, and we'll talk about that next. This new biometric database will not only contain fingerprints, it will also store millions of facial recognition photographs, voice recognition data, iris scans, and even DNA profiles. Millions of people with no criminal records will end up being tracked and traced in every way imaginable. But the feds won't be able to collect all of this data alone. According to the Electronic Privacy Information Center, state and local law enforcement will do much of the heavy lifting when it comes to data collection. The feds essentially bribe state and local law enforcement to bring them on as partners in this massive data collection operation. The federal government funds the hardware and programs being used and then collects data through information sharing agreements tied into the funding. In fact, manufacturers of equipment used to capture biometric information teach local law enforcement agencies how to access federal cash. Last year, a company called MorphoTrack put together a webinar titled How to Access Federal Funding for Biometric Technology. According to the website biometricupdate.com, the federal government provided over $1 billion for state and local governments to purchase biometric systems and devices in 2014 alone. These programs will continue to grow until people start pressuring their states to flat out refuse to participate. It needs to be stopped before it's too late. 